Welcome back to business. Rabat Company Limited, producers of Cindy and Lily tomato paste, has announced a recall of Cindy and Lily tomato paste on the market and in individual hands. A statement from the company on Friday said it has identified an anomaly in a particular batch and believes it's prudent to call, recall the products in circulation. Management of the company says it deeply regrets all the inconveniences this exercise may cause key partners and the general public at large. Joy businesses visited some shops in Accra. Even though they do not speak to us on camera, we can report that the two products are missing on the shelf. So far, we have been trying to get some response and clarity from the company, but we are an able to do so and we'll do that and update you as and when we get them. Now, it has become one of the popular traditions for the Christmas season in the United States and gradually catching up in Ghana. Although customers in Ghana do not go the extent like keeping wake for shops to open, they still take advantage of discounted offers available on Black Friday. Karen Dodu has this report from the Accra Mall. Gradually, the craze of Black Friday is catching up here in Ghana as well. So what's Black Friday? It's a day where big shops and several companies give huge discounts on their items. Some believe it's a way of doing a clearance sale, but then for the customers, it's a big opportunity for them to buy their favorite household items, favorite technological items. So we're here to speak to some customers and find out if indeed today has been a good one for them. Looking at these staffs, if it's not um, Black Friday, you can spend let's say more than 500 Ghana cities, but today is, I mean, it's like 300 cities, so I've, I've really saved a lot. Hundreds of items were slashed in price at most shops we visited in one of Ghana's biggest shopping arcades, the Accra Mall. Excited customers who thronged the mall for the Black Friday experience took advantage of the special deals. For most customers, the juicy deals were enough justification to make a quick dash from the busy work schedule. They have reduced more than 50 percent. So you can buy more. If you were to buy one, you can buy more than one. At least I'm here, I'm buying three. But previously, I will come here and buy only one or two. So it has given me the opportunity to purchase more. So my purchase power has increased and I'm enjoying it. I shop here normally. However, I'm taking advantage of the Black Friday to call the discounted prices. So I say let me rush in here as early as possible before the mad crowd takes over the whole place. At the game shopping mall, groceries and household appliances were heavily discounted, with some going for as low as 50% of the original price. Bottled drinking water and beverages were the most discounted. I can see you have a lot of goodies in your, in your, <laughs> in your basket. A lot of drinks. Looks like you're buying for Christmas. Um, actually, yeah, for Christmas and um, I do cocktails, so, because, um, I just heard about Black Friday, Black Friday, and actually I'm having an event tomorrow and Sunday. So I just decided, okay, then let me just use the opportunity to come to the mall and get stuff. Because mostly if I'm going to Accra and it's Friday, the traffic and all that, so I just decided. Looking at these staffs, if it's not um, Black Friday, you can spend, let's say, more than 500 Ghana cities. But today is, I mean, it's like 300 cities, so I've, I've really saved a lot. Although patrons were trooping in, they were hoping that sales would improve as they plan to extend the deals to the weekend. Black Friday, I think, in Ghana has been catching up over the last four years, I might say. And every year it's becoming much better because more consumers are informed. And I can tell you the day has been fantastic. I cannot complain. Because the day hasn't ended yet, so I can't say much about that. But I'm sure at the end of the day, we might see today perhaps being better than last year. So maybe you are home or you're caught up at work and you couldn't make it to the Black Friday deals. Well, good news for you because most shops, most vendors have extended the Black Friday experience to Saturday and Sunday. So if you're home and then you still want to get a special item, make it a date at any of the shops this weekend and you might still enjoy the Black Friday experience. Reporting here from the Okramo, Karin Dodu for Joy Business. 
I will surely be doing my shopping tomorrow. Now, are you yearning for a fifth generation network? If you are, sorry, I have some bad news for you because the telecoms chamber says it will not happen. Our details coming up shortly. But first, the Bank of Ghana says it has enough dollar to stabilize the economy. So no need to panic. Details coming up in the business news summaries. The Bank of Ghana has asked markets players not to panic because they have adequate dollars to stabilize the city. The Bank of Ghana gave the assurance in a circular issue to all commercial banks in the country. According to Joy FM's reports, the circular could be seen as the fresh move by the Bank of Ghana to manage market sentiments because of its impact on the Ghana city. Ghanaians who are eager to experience the 5G technology will have to wait a while longer because it requires too much investment, the Chamber of Telecommunications has said. 5G is a fifth generation of cellular network technology. 5G can support up to a million devices per square meter, while 4G supports only up to 100,000 devices per square meter. The government says it is encouraged by the new Afrobarometer report, which says that more Ghanaians believe that the country is moving in the wrong direction than two years ago. Speaking on Eyewitness News, the Deputy Information Minister Pius Haji said the report points to the fact that people do recognize and appreciate that this administration inherited a very challenging economy. Per the last report, 59% of Ghanaians believe the country was going in the wrong direction, while only 35% felt the country was headed in the right direction. Crude oil dropped further to close the week at $62.58 a barrel. Gold traded for $1,463.04 an ounce. Let's head to the commodity market for an update. for business tonight. I am Sandra SNM Afenu. I'll see you same time next week. But you can log on to our website myjoinline.com forward slash business for more business updates. Do have a great weekend.